Hello everybody, my name is Twelve. Today I'm going to be talking about my daily routine. Well, I must say that I'm a person who doesn't really have a timetable to do what I do. Because someday I need to do something different. And if I put a timetable, then sometimes my mother could bring me to some places. Or sometimes I need to go to do different things. That's not related to the thing on the timetable. So that means I don't have time to finish my timetable. So I don't have a timetable of what I do every day. But there's still some activities that I must do every day to make me to survive like this. And I'm going to be telling you about some of my daily routine that I must do every day. In the morning, first, you need to wake up to start your morning right. I'm a person who has a lot of times to wake up. I usually will wake up in six o'clock in the weekends or in time when I don't study in the morning at school. But if I do study at school, I'm going to wake up at 5.15 or something so that I can prepare because you know I'm a really slow people. And sometimes I do things without even caring about the time. So my mother told me to wake up soon so that I could have enough time. Plus, I go to school by bike, so it will be bad if I be late. So, of course, in the morning, I always make sure that I eat breakfast. My family have a tradition of eating breakfast in the morning, especially in times where I study at school or when I go out because <coughs> breakfast is the most <coughs> it's the most important meal in your life in your day like you have breakfast lunch and um, dinner you can skip dinner if you want or you can skip lunch but you if you skip your breakfast it wouldn't be good because it will make you to have a really bad day with your stomach. So try to eat something in the morning. Also, in the morning, I always have a hobby to sometimes to do some kinds of exercise. Sometimes I do my kit of exercise such as doing the scissors or mountain climbing. But sometimes when I'm not really into it or when I doesn't have time I'll ride my bike sometimes or I'll just slowly go out and do some short exercise to warm myself up so in the morning I have a lot of other things to do but it's not just always as a daily routine because sometimes I do it well sometimes I don't but usually in the morning I'll also draw a mind map like this and talk to you so it's something that I really, really enjoy. In the midday, or you can say in that time from 10 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. And that time, I am a person who will take a nap in the midday. I'm a person who's really, really sleepy. And if one day I doesn't have um, enough of sleep at the night, then I must take a nap. And even if I take enough, I still have to take a short nap so that I could feel like I've been powered up. If I don't, then my whole afternoon would be such a disaster because of my sleepy head. Well, in the midday, I always eat lunch too. My family eats three meals per day. So that means I eat lunch sometimes too. I also need to prepare for my school day at in the afternoon. So it's also something else that I need to do. In the afternoon, in the afternoon, probably the thing that I'll do in the school day is going to school, right? And I always take a shower before I go to school, not just changing my clothes. 
and after that, I'll always have some time to play something, like watch some films or play some videos game. But it's still something really, really good for my day. I sometimes get to buy some food so that I could eat too, or sometimes I could hang out with my friend a little bit after school, and then I should go home. The last thing is in the evening. In the evening, I probably, of course, have to eat dinner. I don't eat dinner really, really late, but sometimes I have to because I have a lot of work to do. And in the evening, I also do my homework at school and practice my English and my Japanese so that I won't forget them. And sometimes I will drink some hot milk and take a sleep. And that's something in my daily routine that you must know. And I always do it every day. So, hope that you could know a little bit about my daily routine. Now, what about you? Can you please share about your daily routine? I would love to hear about it. Goodbye.